So I've just received an update um, to the software in the Model S. This is version 7.1, um, 2.12.126. So let's check out the release notes. Okay, so uh, the big news on um, this score is uh, the improvements and changes to Summon. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to get into the... So they changed the uh, layout of the settings and stuff, and uh, I'm going to go through those um, in a little bit when I get to that uh, screen. But the biggest change is the new activation mode. Um, let me change the screen here. Whoosh! Okay. Now that's better. All right. So, the cool new thing is that you can uh, now initiate auto park into your garage uh, without using the phone app or the fob. Uh, what you do actually is uh, when you pull up, um, you double click the um, this button on the gear selector, and uh, normally when you hit that once, uh, that puts the car into park. So um, when you pull up to the garage, uh, you double hit that, and then it will bring up a dialogue. Um, and well, let me just demonstrate it right now. So I'm ready to park into my garage, and the new feature is to double-click this mode. So now it says Auto Summon is enabled. And then there's a pop-up window right here that says uh, Auto Park, and then by default it indicates that it's going to move forward. If you're backing into your garage, you can just switch it by hitting backwards, but I'm going to... I'll be going forwards, um, press any door handle or key fob button to stop the car. So really easy to stop the car. So let's see what happens. All right, do your magic. Well, there it goes. That's pretty cool. bad. All right, so also um, auto park and retrieve Model S with a single tap of the button in the Tesla mobile app. Um, so what's interesting is, um, so the I have and, an Android phone and the Android Tesla app, <clears throat> at least with my Tesla, I, I haven't been able to get summoned to work from the app. It's had uh, connection issues or whatever. Um, so, but after this new update, this is the first time actually that I've been able to successfully use um, Summon <clears throat> from the um, from the app itself. All right. So, um, and then there's some notes here. Uh, summon enhancements require the most uh, recent Tesla mobile app which is available soon. iOS, this will be version 2.7.2, .2, and for Android, version 2.7.3. Um, I'm not sure what version I have. Let me check. Okay, I have 2.7.2, um, so I haven't gotten the, uh, or they haven't released the most recent um, update. And on a side note, typically the iOS um, app is updated before Android. Um, my wife's iPhone had a summon feature on it for like, I think it was like a week or two before um, I finally got it on my Android app. 
Okay, and then when you update this software, because it's changed some of the summon settings, um, if you had summon activated, it uh, deactivated it, um, and then you have to turn it back on, so that's not a big deal and probably makes sense. Um, uh, warnings, it may not detect certain super narrow objects such as bikes or stuff underneath the bumpers and stuff like that, so basically use common sense. Um, don't put your baby in front or behind the car when you're using summon. Um, narrow spaces and home link uh, increase the risk of damage. Narrow spaces is obvious. Home link, that's because um, home link is, is uh, how the vehicle connects to your garage door opener. So obviously if you're relying on the vehicle to open your garage door, there's a potential that something might go wrong. But it's actually probably more likely that... Um, a human would hit the garage door than the Tesla. And then here's two side uh, improvements. Uh, regenerative braking at low temperatures has been improved. No details on that, but that's a welcomed uh, improvement. And then the creep setting is now saved to driver profiles. So if, um, if you have multiple drivers uh, using the uh, uh, Tesla, um, and those are, those are here, you can have like a bunch of different uh, driver profiles. So if one of them is a creep, uh, you can set them to creep. Actually, that has nothing to do with whether the driver is creepy. Uh, you can set the vehicle to have no automatic creep, like when you're stopped and then you let go of the brake, it'll, you know, most ice cars or gas cars will um, go forward a little bit, that's called creep. So you can turn that on or off and it will automatically switch uh, depending on which user you select. So that's cool, and then it has the previous release notes for version 7.1. Um, let me see if I should add anything. Um, no, okay. To the uh, summon settings themselves. Yeah, here we go. So it's under auto park. Um, yeah. And then you can, now you hit the customize button. And so now it has a whole um, dedicated window, pop-up window to the various settings. So bumper clearance is, <clears throat> so this box is your garage, obviously that's the Tesla, and this is the imaginary space that your Tesla will back into um, <clears throat> or go forward from. Um, okay, so bumper clearance is the front. You can set that from a minimum of eight inches, uh, which is super tight all the way up to uh, four feet, which is quite a bit of space. I'm pretty happy that where I had it at 16. And then, uh, so the sum and distance, so that determines um, when, when the car is in the garage and you summon it outside, how far do you want it to go back? So that will go from a minimum of 15 feet to a maximum of probably 39, oh, 40 feet. Alright, so that's, you know, if your front door is like a couple miles from your garage. Um, I don't want mine too far out. I haven't tested this, so I'm not really sure how far I want it to go out, so I'm just going to leave it at the default 25. And then, um, okay, so uh, side clearance. Um, if you have this on standard, uh, the Model S will not uh, go in um, to a space where it's really tight. Uh, it could calculate that it will make it, um, but the margin maybe it's the margin of error or whatever, and so it errors on the side of caution of not going in. Um, but most people have stuff kind of crammed in their garage, and I've had no problems with it hitting anything on tight. Although I don't have a ton of stuff crammed in my garage, so that's not a huge problem. Um, but anyway, okay, here's, here's something new in the terms of, uh, remember in a previous video I mentioned that um, there might be restrictions on summon uh, because of a, who was it, consumer report said, well, if you're using summon and it's automatically going and you drop your key fob or something, you have no way to stop the vehicle. Of course, if you touch the vehicle, at least one of the handles, it would stop. But So Tesla agreed with them. And so basically what they've done is had this continuous press mode. This is on by default. And so what this means is when that summon is going, you have to continuously hold down the key fob to get it to keep going. Otherwise, it'll automatically stop. Uh, super inconvenient, so they give you the option to um, have it off. Again, 
like I said, it, by default it's on. Um, I have it um, off because it's much more convenient. And then uh, use home link. Again, this is um, how it connects to your garage door. Um, the term is the term home link is much more generic, so I anticipate more um, connections with home devices in the future. But anyway, for now it's just, uh, it'll automatically open the garage door um, when you enter your driveway. It can automatically close it when you go out of the garage. It can automatically um, open and close it when using summon. So all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much all the salient new features here. Um, so I hope that was helpful and interesting. Um, I think the I was not expecting, um, I didn't, I didn't realize they were going to have, uh, they were going to make it so you could set how far back it was going to, um, back out. So that's super cool. Um, I was expecting the required continue press and was a little nervous about it. And I'm super glad that they made it optional. So those are pretty much the key features of the latest update, which I got, uh, last night. Um, any questions? Um, Leave a comment, ask a question in below, use a thumbs up, subscribe. Having a lot of fun interacting with all the comments and stuff, uh, really enjoying it um, and answering questions. So, have a good weekend.